Hello YouTube! Welcome back to the homestead. Hope everyone had a great Easter. Uh, what we're doing here today is, is I'm going to be showing you our uh, weather station that we have set up here at the homestead. I uh, am a former civil defense chief meteorologist from back in the 1970s and so back then weather was part of my profession. Now it's merely something I keep up with on a more of a hobby basis. Our weather station, however, is online, and I will share with you the uh, web address where you can find it. And it does give the uh, local information for the area in which we live, and several people do use it locally. It's also available to the National Weather Service, the Weather Channel, and universities and their studies. But I thought, well, I'll share and show you what we have here and if you're interested in your own weather station there are packages out there available and they're not real expensive anymore so with that let me show you what I have here okay here I have my uh, information sheet that had come with uh, with my package it's the ambient weather WS 280 wireless home weather station and this is the user's manual it comes with and it also comes with software so you can uh, hook it up to your computer and use it to uh, follow your graphs and such and have your information where you can lay it out over a period of time. So let's go outside and take a look at the uh, instrument uh, cluster. Okay, here we are outside and you're looking at the instrument cluster out here the little thing on top that you see spinning is called an anemometer it's used to measure wind speed the other item straight across from it is a wind directional indicator the little box there is actually the uh, rain gauge and then the cylinder there it looks like it has vents on it is actually where the temperature is read and also it's the transmitter for the instrument cluster. So this is our outside instrument package. Now that we're back in and right here by my desk where I do a lot of my work is the uh, the indoor readout unit that it's actually being transmitted to and uh, this has everything on it. This has wind speed, wind direction, wind gust, barometric pressure, rain, it has humidity, outdoor temperature, indoor temperatures, humidity levels, wind chill, <laughs> uh, heat index, everything. Of course it's real nice nowadays with the computer. All of those things are uh, calculated for you. Back when I was a meteorologist you'd have to come back and take all your instrument readings and then go through mathematical calculations using your slide rule. Yes, I'm showing my age. I said slide ruler. And with that, you would calculate your wind chill factors and your heat index. But now this is all done on computers these days. And so we'll move along to the next part. And here we are. I pulled up the... Uh the weather station page this is available to anybody who wants it there is no cost to it at all and it has all the data on here plus also if you live in the area you can go back and see how much rain you've had for the past week past month past year even past couple of years all the information that you may want or need also on this you can come up to where it says current conditions and voila it pulls up not only the date information the, the information of the day but it also has a local radar which there's no clouds in the area so there's nothing for the radar to show but also it has the forecast for the week for this given area 
And this was all free to set up. And I did it just to, you know, just to continue my work as a meteorologist and to be helpful to the area out there and to my fellow homesteaders and uh, to the farmers in the areas, especially on the rainfall amounts. Because the official rainfall for our areas comes out of northern Kentucky at the Greater Cincinnati Airport. And that's well over 40 miles away, so the rainfall here could be quite different. And so I just put it out there just to continue in the field of study of meteorology and to, just to help my fellow man. So I just thought I would share with you today what we're doing here at the homestead that's... Uh, a little on the interest of science, I know you're used to my earthquake updates. A lot of that goes back to when I was a, a chief meteorologist for civil defense because uh, we did have some special meetings about how to deal with earthquakes in the area and such. And they didn't have a geologist, so I often got sent to the conferences because being a meteorologist, I was the closest thing they had to a scientist in those days. But lots have changed since then. Of course, civil defense no longer exists. Now it's been replaced by FEMA. And we know how much we all love FEMA. But I won't go into that. So. I want to thank you for coming by today and uh, visiting the homestead. I hope you have a wonderful day. And God bless. Please subscribe.